4.53 p.m. It was centered approximately 16 miles from Port au Prince, Haiti. A devastating 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck. Schools, offices, homes, all falling apart. Country left in shambles. Presidential palace collapsed. Estimated 50,000 dead. Hundreds of thousands more trapped in the rubble. seven rescues, uh, including one just a few hours ago. A woman stuck inside the bar. She was pulled out and asked for a glass of wine after a 17-hour extraction, a record, according to the Fairfax County Urban Rescue Team. Rescuers still have pretty good hope of finding some additional survivors at this location and others, even though now many hours have passed since the earthquake. They say natural pockets that form inside collapsed buildings often leave a safe haven for people to be found in. It's a question of getting here in time. I look at it as uh, we, uh, the world has an opportunity here to show up and affect the Haitian people in a way that uh, we clearly need to uh, do so, and everyone is moving in that direction. I'm very optimistic that we are going to respond. It's going to be extremely difficult, as we see in all disasters like this, and uh, we are going to work and do everything we can every day to answer the needs of the Haitian people. There are some areas clearly that are much more severely affected and you can clearly see that uh, to a great degree just by where uh, the Haitian people have congregated and uh, set up uh, temporary shelters. It's going to take a significant uh, international effort to uh, respond to the, uh, the call of the Haitian people uh, and uh, we're seeing the evidence of that and uh, help is on the way. Uh, the, the priorities is search and rescue right now, that's ongoing getting medical assistance as, we, as quick as we can and getting relief supplies out to the uh, uh, needed areas as quickly as we can.
The first images from Haiti are confirming the world's worst fears. The damage there is complete and the carnage is expansive. Haitians have begun piling bodies on the streets of Port-au-Prince and the injured lay prone on the pavement. The exact extent of Tuesday's 7.0 magnitude earthquake is still unknown. There is no doubt that we are facing a major humanitarian assistance, uh, emergency, and that a major relief effort will be uh, required. Some of that help from the U.S. is already underway, including this search and rescue team from Virginia, and more has been pledged. They don't know where the help is coming from. And thanks to all of us who stand, up, who stand here together, hope is about to come to Haiti. However, most of the communications networks in the country have been destroyed and strong aftershocks are still being felt. Already the country's presidential palace lies in ruins, as does the U.N. building in the capital. <laughs> Schools and hospitals were also destroyed, as well as untold number of homes and businesses. Rescue crews, though, say they believe many people are trapped alive in the rubble and they promise to pull out as many as they can. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.